What was that? What did I see you throw out of the window back there? I didn't throw anything. Ah, don't look back here. Look ahead of you, look to your side, look down, but do not look back here at me. Don't even look at each other. What did I see you throw out of the window when you saw me pull up behind you? He spit his gum out. Why did you pull Don't answer for him, I'm asking him. Okay, Don't but you can you not point him. the gun at him? Sir, I'm gonna need you to get back on the ground. I am on the ground, but you're pointing the Sir? gun at my son. Am I supposed to be okay Sir? with that? I'm gonna need you to calm down. Dad, I'm fine, stop. He, he's gonna do something. No, this is totally uncalled for. Why were you even following us in the first place when you spit his gum out? Sir, get Do you back have an actual reason for pulling us over? Sir, get back on ground. I am on the ground. Ten thirty-three. I'm gonna need backup. Ten four. Ten four. Get that to thirty-two. Yes, please get somebody calm Sir, stand out here. down. Don't move. pouring in over the ruling in the trial of Officer Darius Jackson and the shooting death of Theodore Turner. Late last week, a jury found Officer Jackson not guilty of manslaughter. Jackson's defense attorney claimed that Mr. Turner exhibited aggressive behavior during a routine traffic stop and that the officer feared for his life. Mom's trying to talk. Try to get in the habit of calling him Nathan, not Nate, okay, hun? But that's Nate. That's his name. There was an entire news spiel on CNN about how Nate is a thuggish name. I think good PR is worth the extra syllable. Ma, you gotta stop watching that news. I have to watch the news in order to stay up to date on what kind of slander they're throwing at us. What do you even care at this point what they say? Because we just lost a court case over what the attorney describes as image issues. And we still have a civil case against the police department to worry about. Then there's your dad's life insurance. Just what I wanted to talk to you boys about. The insurance company is trying to revoke the payout. Seriously? Can they even do that? I told you boys that a lot was riding on this case. Their premise was that if the court finds that your dad died while committing a crime, then that nullifies the insurance agreement. Dad never committed a crime. I know, baby. They couldn't even come up with the reason why they stopped us in the first place. Are they basing this off the testimony of what the cops said? Off the jury validating that testimony, They're yes. going off the claim that dad charged at him. Endangering a peace officer is what they put. Well, from that, if the cop had shot Pops and he lived, He'd still be trying him with the same crime? That cop never intended to let Dad live. That cop executed Dad. He decided he was going to kill him long before he came up with an alibi to hide behind. We can't appeal it? We'd have to take them to court and sue the insurance company. The attorney says that we would need a completely separate attorney to do that. This is on top of the civil case which requires yet another attorney. Boys, we're running out of money. We got anything from that crowd fund? Not $30,000. I was counting on the insurance money to pay for this. Well, I'm supposed to start work in a couple weeks, and uh, my PO says it's all good now. That'll help, son. It will. I think we need some kind of external assistance. So, Tiffany, let me, let me ask you this, though, because the video that we have up, this is, we talked, you and I talked earlier about after what is this? and the dead. Oh, they're talking about me again? Can we bring the picture back up again? This, this is a sweet, innocent family. What Everyone does this have is to worried do with about anything? being affected by this. So now, look at this. You have a hardened criminal, a murderer, and this is Ted Turner's son, his son. And you have Officer Jackson, a peace officer, who is doing his job on a routine traffic stop. And he's got a 50-50 chance of either finding some thug in the passenger seat, that's one son, or finding an actual murderer, which is the other son. And with those odds, you want to tell me how the police officer acted hastily by being cautious? But that's not actually who was in the car. 
You have two innocent men. The police men. officer doesn't know who's in that car. It could be anyone. That's why they need to obey the officer's commands. He can't just assume they have good intentions. But that's just it, though. The officer doesn't know who's in the car until he identifies them, so there's no way to make the assumption that they are dangerous criminals. And that's how officers get killed. Do you really need to do a full background check to realize these people are dangerous? And let's say you did that background check. Let's say you did. You keep digging, and it only gets worse. Ted Turner, DUI less than two years ago, Officer Jackson was probably just trying to stop him from killing himself or someone else. Dalton Turner, convicted of 2009 murder of Chad Summers, convicted, and somehow they let this animal out to roam the streets again. It was a self-defense shooting for which he has served his time, and once again, he was not in the car. So I don't understand the point you're trying to make with that. Oh, it's self-defense shooting the term we're using now to describe returning gunfire and a gang turf war. Guys, I do just want to clarify for our viewers, murder convict Dalton Turner was not in the car during this incident. Ted Turner's youngest son, Nate Turner, was riding in the passenger seat Don't be at fooled. The time. This kid, Nate, is no angel either. Would you really feel safe around a character like this? He's a budding gang member, just like his relatives, and he was not complying with the officer. And does that really give the officer the right to shoot his father? Okay, see, what you and so many other liberals are failing to understand is that cops deal with these kinds of people all the time. So they know what happens when you let your guard down around them, especially when they're disobeying the officer's commands. And I'm confident that in this situation, if the officer had hesitated, we have another good cop on our hands. Is that what you'd rather have? You have absolutely no basis for believing that the officer was in any actual danger, especially considering it was the officer who escalated the situation in the first place. Are people just supposed to oh remain- Lord, why are they dragging you into this now, Dalton? Oh, you ain't seen that before? No. I work 50 hours a week. I don't watch the news as often as you'd think. Have you seen them talk about you before? Yeah, it's been a minute now. But saying that because I did what I did, that it was okay to murder my pops. But baby, you weren't even there. That doesn't make any sense. That is exactly what I didn't want. It's just another smear campaign. The same way they went in on you and me, trying to prove we're garbage so that cop doesn't look bad. You both knew about this. Why didn't you talk to me? What well, nothing to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. We could have put out an official statement just, or something. That just seems like a trap. They'd have a field day with whatever we said. Well, we can at least Talk to each other about how it makes us feel. Can we not do that? How does it make you feel, Dalton? Are you not upset? Oh, I was. When I first heard him say that shit. Language. Sorry, ma'am. I mean, the news is gonna say what they're gonna say to justify what the cop did. I mean, but I'm not gonna go out there and get all crazy and, you know, end up back in jail. No. At the end of the day, they're watching us, so we really need to pick our battles. We need to be a team here, okay guys? I can't see everything. We need to start communicating better, even if it doesn't seem important. We need to share information. I mean, we do. Nobody tells me anything. Ma, we tell you everything. No, you don't. You keep things bottled up, and you neglect to mention important information. I don't understand this family's... Obsession with secrets! Ain't nobody trying to keep secrets from you, Alma. We just don't want to stress you out with every little thing that comes up. <sighs> you think I can't handle it? It's not even that, Ma. It's just... You do so much and you're trying to take care of everything. Imagine if we came up to you left and right with, Oh, this happened, the news said this, the internet said that. I'd probably have a much better understanding of our situation. You'd probably have a nervous breakdown. Do you think I'm fragile? Ma. Ma. You're a very strong woman, Ma. Strongest woman I know. Well, I would think. I was strong enough to keep my composure for months, while reporters were trying to convince me on camera why my husband deserved to die. Yes, ma'am. And Dalton, I didn't have a nervous breakdown eight years ago when the police knocked at my door because you neglected to tell me you shot someone. No, ma'am, you're right. We need to develop enough common decency in this house to try and trust each other. We're all we have left. The most talked about video in America, the body camera footage from Officer Jackson during the shooting of Ted Turner. We do want to warn you, this footage may be disturbing. Oh, no, fuck that. Nathan, language. Mom, 
Mark, just, just, just let him be. How's he supposed to act? I need to go talk to him. No, you gotta push him away. I'm not bringing a lecture or anything. I, I need to tell him that I'm here for him. Ma, you mean well. I know you do. But you're not gonna get through with him if you come at him any sort of way right now. Hun, I'm not coming at him. Let me just go talk to him and see what's going on with my little brother. And I'll send him your way, okay? I promise. Come here. Okay. All right. Hey, you good, bro? It is what it is. I just hate seeing that shit. Even after how many times we had to watch that tape in court? Still fucks me up. I mean, that's my pops. That's why I hate when mom leaves the news on, because they play that fucking tape like five times an hour. I think she's immune to it by now. No one should be immune to that. That's not natural. I mean, that's your husband. She caught it hard, Nate. She got so used to putting that face for the public that it's hard to tell she's still hurting. She got so used to putting on a different face she forgot what hers looks like. She still make you wait in the car when you go places without covering your tattoos? Shit, every time. Fucking 90 degrees out, I'm wearing a turtleneck sweater. I got makeup melting off all of my face. Call myself trying to go in the Walmart with Ma, looking all weird as hell. Like, fuck, let me just go in there all thugging. Sure, I'll blend in perfectly. Rolling to the store looking fucking special. Bro, I'm telling you. In the bank, like, looking more suspect than if you just left it alone. Oh, no, fuck that. Really? Yeah, for the bank? Yeah, man. I'm not trying to deal with all that. I'll gladly sit in the car and run the AC. Maybe I'll scare some old bitches in the parking lot because they think I'm trying to run in and rob it. It's that real, though. <laughs> yeah. People really are that shallow. I mean, ever since mom started dressing me like a prep school student, people treat me so different. And it pisses me off because literally all I change is my outfit. And people are all holding my doors and shit, waiting my tables at restaurants like the fuck they're supposed to. I mean, why weren't y'all fucking with me in my hoodie and ball short days? Sometimes you gotta go a little bit out of the way, get treated like a human being, dog. Everybody's not gonna get looked at the same right off the top. Shit, you're right about that. I mean, in spite of it all, though? Yeah. You're making it, bro. You're employed, legitimately. Thank Congrats, you. bro. Thank you. Body shop? Nah. Wrecking yard. Oh. Same owner, though. Yeah. Legit? Yeah. You going back to your job now? Or nah. Nah, that's some high school shit. I've been waiting on the money to start going to school. I'm trying to get my mind right. You know, boss trying to get you to go back to counseling, right? Uh, yeah. I'm not down. Was it helping? It offered the wrong kind of help. What you mean? My biggest problem with counseling is that it doesn't change anything. It doesn't right this wrong. They say they want to help me heal, but really all they want to do is make me okay with murder. I don't think it's about being okay with it rather than accepting the things that we cannot change. Even the therapists agree what the cop did was unforgivable. You know, most people are on our side, Nate. It's just the law's not. The law's never on our side. Everyone sees why this whole situation is so fucked up, except for the people with the power to do anything about it. What you want him to do, retry the cop? At the very least, that cop shouldn't be walking at all, let alone walking free. I wish we was in control of that. Either way, it just feels like you're okay with that. Bro. I am never gonna be okay with that. I'm mad as fuck too, I promise you. I stay mad as fuck. I lost my fucking dad too. I was locked up eight years and I gotta spend four whole months with Pops before the world took him from me. This is the world that we live in here, Nate. And I'm out here trying to exist in it. Keep my sanity intact and keep my ass out of the pen. I feel you, Nate. I've been where you at. Trust me when I tell you this. I know the feelings that you're going through right now. I don't mean to undermine the way you're feeling, bro. 
We're going to this together, I know. But I don't know if you're feeling quite the same way I'm feeling about this. That's how you feel? You remember way back when? Before I went away? Jesus. That's taking it back. I was basically a kid. But you remember though, right? Yeah, bits and pieces. You remember my boy Todd? We're backtracking to some hard times, I see. See, you remember everything. He was real young then. You only kind of knew what was going on. Hey, little man, I'm gonna run to the store real quick. You want some? I don't want to go home. I know. How are you gonna buy me two consoles and then maybe wait hours to play them? This is torture. What kind of sick joke is this? Shit, my bad, bro. Had some running around to do. You know how me hook these up when we get home? I got you. Which one are you gonna play first? I'm hooking them both up because they both have to sit and update for a thousand years before I can play them. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So at this rate, I'll have five minutes to play before mom gets home and shuts it off. Alright, well I'll hurry. I just got one more place to go. <sighs> Where are we going? I'm just gonna go see a friend real quick. Okay. If mom asks where we's at, what you gonna tell her? The science center. Mom in. So I guess mom still doesn't like your friends? Hates them. She says it's because she thinks you guys are out catching wild animals. Terms, trapping. She thinks we out here trapping. Oh, same difference. I guess you're right. Skittles! Sketch, dude. Nah, he's chill. Got go up. 48. Got the key. Do I need to gum this? Do I need to count this? Have I ever shorted you? Have I ever tried to fuck you over? Good man. What was all that? The homie left his gym clothes last time we played ball. Had to return them to him. You'd be sitting there in the passenger seat all innocent-minded. <laughs> Not worried about shit. Man, I didn't yeah. know about that life. I just knew I wasn't supposed to say anything yeah. to mom and dad. Yeah. I knew rolling with you meant candy from the candy store yeah. or maybe even a new Xbox game. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind how you had enough money to yeah. just keep buying me shit. We had a pretty sweet paper wrap, fam. What do you remember about Todd? Well, I know that he was younger than you, maybe 14 or 15 at the time. And I remember he was out selling for you. That's right. I'm selling my supply. Wait, wait, wait. So you telling me you only want one? Yes, only one is all. So you finna go home and roll by yourself? Are you stupid? No. I'm going to a rave with a couple of homegirls. Oh, y'all going to electric jam tonight? Yeah. Yeah. So where's that shit? Man, I ain't fit to buy them no this. Come on, girl, I know you got the money for it. I mean, them your homegirls, right? That don't even get paid for their shit. Come on, girl, it's 20 bucks per. So? So you telling me you only got the 20 on you? I got 60, that's for other shit, man, damn. I gotta buy my ticket, I gotta eat, I gotta get gas. Yeah, but you're not thinking. What happens when y'all run up in that rave and you be the only one rolling? Man, you gonna be having the time of your life. Well, your homegirl's gonna be like, man, fuck this, we wanna roll too! Well, they can buy from somebody at the motherfucking rave. Right. 
So y'all gonna look around, try and find the motherfucker with the Kermit the Frog backpack and ask him for two pills for your homegirls. He gonna look you dead in your eye and be like, bitch, that's a hundred dollars. I can't fucking stand you, Todd. Shit. Um. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna go for three. Hey, good choice. Or can you do 40? Yeah. If you wanna leave one of your homegirls high and dry. Ugh. Come on, girl. 60 for three, like we discussed. <laughs> Thank you much. It's always a pleasure. Yep. Thank you. Hey, what's good, D? You rolling with Dalton now? Yeah, he be the homie. Where you been? Don't get yourself in too deep trying to be hot shit. Man, I can't stay small time forever, yo. Right there, it's all you. Wait, what? No, nah, we still gotta re up. We need money for that. Right? That's what I took. But all that right there is your money. Oh, we had $6,000. 6000 well earned, fam. Good shit. My mom only makes like $12 an hour. It's like Three months of income, man. Yep. It's been three weeks. It's only the beginning. It's so much more than last time. This is all profit? Mm-hmm. Holy shit, man! I can literally buy anything. <laughs> Why do people even work? Because normally you'd need a PhD to do this kind of thing. My mom and pop's been scraping together all their life to try and make a living the right way. And they ain't seen this kind of money yet. Half the bills that get paid around here is because of this money. You? Pay them? I got to. Mom and pop's like to fall behind on the bills. But I let them stay thinking they're maintaining. And get a late notice, I just quietly take care of it. Shit, that's a good idea. I could like help my mom out with her bills. Hell, I could pay all of them if I wanted. Hold up, little homie. You gonna get yourself caught up. <laughs> oh, shit. You right. Remind me sometime. I'll teach you how to do it real low-key. Alright, cool. It's crazy how it seems like no one can actually foe to live. And we finally find a way. It's illegal. That's just the way it is. The system ain't designed for us to prosper. It was designed for us to struggle. Get locked up and die just trying to make ends meet. That's why we gotta stay smart, beat the system. All right, back to this money. Does anybody wanna play Modern Warfare 2? Hey, little man, why don't you go back inside and hop online for a bit? Damn, but no one on my team knows how to listen, and they wanna call bullshit when they get shot. Tell you what, we got a few things doing on this project, but after I'm done, I'm gonna come in there, hop online with you. Can you hold it down for a bit? I got you. Since we're talking about it, what beef did you guys have with Chad anyway? You never really told us why you, he came after you guys the way you did. It was weird. We wasn't even in no gang shit. We were just some kids out there trying to buy some dumb shit and make money. Chad, however, that fool was all hardcore into the gang life.
Looks good, Dalton. You sell him? You make me ask one more time, I'm gonna put a hole in you. Man, you already know what it is. Why are you even asking? If I know what it is, why are you ducking and hiding all through my neighborhood? I mean, the idea is to avoid the cops. But fuck it, let's start some shit in broad fucking daylight and get the poke called on us for no fucking reason. Trying to start some shit? We can start some shit. What you trying to do? Try to figure out why you feel it's okay for you to suck crack in my neighborhood. So you do already know what it is. You know what? Fuck it, dog. I ain't playing no games. I want 50% of what you make, or I want you off my block. Man, you're slinging that gang shit. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Slinging that crack shit. Acting like motherfuckers don't want you dead out here. But, you sling for us. Can't nobody touch you. Man, we ain't trying to rep no fucking gang. I mean, you ain't trying to pay your dues. Ain't nobody finna give you shit. You can stay the fuck off this block if you ain't trying to be legit. And you can miss me with that corporate shit. I ain't gonna miss shit, homie. You gonna miss this money, homie? Yo, yo! It's cool, I. Right? We're cool. We just gonna stay up out of here. Both y'all stay the fuck from around here. If I catch either of you up in the cut, shit's gonna get heavy. You're done. Fuck the crackheads. So we're really not finna go back up in the car? I don't know. I think about it a lot. I mean, it's fine. It is what it is. I just, I sling shit that I can't really sling nowhere else. And ain't nobody at school got no money for no blow, you know, rock, you feel? Nah, I feel you. I mean, I got you if we go into like San Bernardino or some shit. Right. But I know for you it's like the day to day. It's a day to day hustle, man. <laughs> Stuck in Burbank, man. And them thieves build so money. You know, you're gonna be old enough to start driving soon. Yeah, but that's just how far out. I'm ready for this money now. You can always buy yourself a little cheap car, drive it low key. Take trips here and there. I got some places I know that are always trying to pick up. Man, my money about gone. Can't buy no car. Damn, man, you spent all that money already? Yeah. How, man? Just stunting. Blowing my own girls. I don't know. Just happen, I guess. <laughs> you gotta pace yourself, fam. Yeah, I realized that a little late in the game, but I'm gonna just chill this time around. Yeah, but we still gotta figure out what to do about Chad. Maybe give him a cut when we search a bathroom. Yo, don't think for a second you can trust any of them fools. Next thing you know, you're in a gang, and they got all your money. I wouldn't join that gang, man. Just get a little money off the top, you know, keep them off our backs. Bro, it don't work like that, homie. Shit, I almost forgot. Check out what I picked up. Oh shit, man, what the fuck? Yeah, motherfuckers, try and catch me slipping now. Let me see that. Careful, little homie, that bitch is loaded. <laughs> oh, where'd you get this from, man? I got this dude in Garden Grove that's sleeping. I'm gonna get you one too, bro. <laughs> uh, nah, man, I ain't trying to carry no guy. I ain't trying to have you out here with no protection. Gun makes me a target. How you figure? Chad tried to punk Sally out waving his gun around. Shit. <laughs> Think it would have hesitated if he knew we were strapped. If I get caught on the wrong block, I'm not even strapped. The worst that can happen is I get robbed of my ass speed. I'm a 10th grader. Ain't nobody worried about me. I ain't no threat to anyone. But if I stay strapped for my protection, then they gotta protect themselves. They got no choice. No, I'm a threat. Ain't nobody out here playing with you? Motherfuckers do not care that you're 15. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna stay up out of the cut. But if there's something big, 
I gotta go in. Plus, you can't just cut fiends off like that. I ain't gonna wonder where you went and who you telling. Shit, you right. I just worry about you, Doc. <laughs> ain't no stacks worth your life. Bet. Well, Todd got a call one night to go deliver in that area. And at first he wasn't gonna go. Uh-uh. Why you always gotta be on your phone when you with me? Who that hoe calling you? Baby, just chill. It's Todd, alright? Let me see if he's okay. Boy, I told you, don't be doing that trapping shit when you with me. I'll see you complaining about this trapping money. Ain't nobody worried about your fucking money. You think that's why I'm here? Baby girl, chill, alright? I'm just gonna see if he's okay. Hey, what's good? You all right? Yeah, dawg. About to hop in the car. Right now? Yeah, I'm just dropping eight and go home. In, out, done. Sure you want to be running up in there right now? Think I should cancel? Mm, fuck it. It's money, man. Just be safe, fam. All right, I got you, dog. Much love. My better judgment said to call it off. But we weren't afraid of Chad's bitch ass. He went in there to do his thing but never came out of there. That's when Chad shot him? Yeah. Damn. You knew it was Chad as soon as you heard? Never had a doubt. But you didn't know for sure until Chad tried to run up on you too? No, I knew way before. Chad couldn't keep his mouth shut. And the streets were talking. And all these wannabe thugs didn't know how to be modest, going around bragging that killing a 15-year-old kid was something to be proud of. Be honest, was there ever a time that you thought about telling the police what you knew? No. Ever? No. So, you don't know where he was going that night? Nah. It says here he called your phone minutes before the shooting. He didn't say anything? He said he wanted me to bring my tablet to school. Why did he want it? I don't know. Who's he going to see? I don't know. Where was he going? You asked me that already. Look, we're just trying to understand who'd want to hurt your friend. Can you help us help you? I don't know much about what he'd be doing, so probably not much help. How about this? Do you know a person named Jason Scott? Nah. Casey Price? Mm-mm. Chad. Chad Summers. No. Nah. Does that one maybe sound kind of familiar? Nah, I don't know who that is. None of these names ring a bell. Like I said, I don't know who you'd be rolling with. Well, if you hear anything, or you just happen to remember something, give me a call, okay? Were you afraid that he'd retaliate if you snitched or that you'd get a reputation? No. Going to the police was always a liability for me. But you let Chad run free after killing your best friend and he tried to kill you too. I don't think that's what you wanted. How much do you know about what happened? Well, Dad let me read all the police reports, so I pretty much know everything. What'd they say? Well, that you were out late one night, around where you used to live, and he saw you and he pulled a gun on you. But you had a gun too, and you shot before you could get a round off. And then you ran away. The paramedics came and they pronounced him dead on arrival. And then the cops came to the house and took you away. I remember that pretty well. You can't talk to him! Cause he fucking dead! 
That's a bullshit. That's a bullshit. Wait, wait, wait. He likes the rapper. Don't eat. Don't eat. Nate, hold up. Go back inside. What happened? We're trying to figure that out, baby. Go him back. Why are you resting? Restraint. It would appear that I am, sir. He ain't doing nothing. Why are you letting him take you? There's not a lot we can do right now, honey. We gotta wait. Yo, I'm gonna be back. That's your son! We need to understand how this works, Nate. He's gonna come back. He's, he's just gotta go right now. I don't believe that, neither do you. Hey! Yo, yo, what the fuck? You think you can do whatever the fuck you want? Yo, yo that's a fucking kid. I'm not one of your little hood rat friends. Martin. Martin. Holster your weapon. It's not that serious. I remember never trusting the cops after that. Why? It felt like they were punishing you when you were the victim here. That's not what justice looks like. Legal possession of a firearm, manslaughter, fleeing the scene of a crime. That's what they put me away for eight years. It's fucked up and I don't think the situation was fair at all. Imagine how long they would have put me away if I told them the truth. What? I know what you read, little bro. But that's not how it happened. How did it happen? Everything that happened with Todd was true. Chad killed my boy for no good reason, took his life. The kid was like a brother to me. It'd be like if someone took you away from me, fucked me up inside. I remember even how, how Todd's parents looked at me after that. In their eyes, I was the one who got their son killed because I'm the one that introduced him into that world. And in a way, they were right. I wasn't even allowed at Todd's funeral. Even Dad slapped the shit out of me. Because I got some kid killed for slinging dope. I felt like a monster. I couldn't let the little homie go out that way. That's why I had to make it right. So when the cops came looking for leads, I didn't want to tell them about Chad. Because I had other plans for him. Oh shit. Chad didn't come after me. Nah. Chad tried to lay low after everything he did. And I was having none of that. How did you get away with telling a completely different story? I didn't tell anybody what I was gonna do. So it was my word over no one's. It was more opportunistic rather than premeditated. Somebody posted a photo at Matt's Burgers on 47th Street. And I saw this fool chilling in the background. So I, I left here, got out of here quick, didn't take my cell phone. I didn't tell anybody what I was gonna do. So I went and parked my car outside of the restaurant, and I waited for that fool. Luckily, he drove himself that day. I knew that guy was always packing. So I pointed him down, called him out. What's good, Chad? Shot him twice. Shit, yo, yo. I was gonna shoot him a third time when he was on the ground, but I thought that the police would think that was an execution and not a self-defense. Is it worth it, dog? That what you want? I let him die on the ground with his gun four feet away from him. You maintain plausible deniability. That's right. That's smart. Smart as I could be acting on the chance. Were you ever afraid that you'd get caught after? Yeah, I can definitely feel that the heat was getting closer. It was weird. It was like my days were numbered. 
Like I wasn't living in reality. Like I felt like my situation could change dramatically at any point. I found it hard to be in the present. You were pretty distant right about then. You were really quiet. You put a cover over your car and you stopped leaving the house. I mean, it makes sense now, but it was really strange to witness. Yeah, I knew what I did and I was gonna have to answer to it eventually. I just couldn't tell how much they were gonna figure it out. Even knowing what I know now, I still don't think it's fair how long they put you away. I still think you're very much the victim here. I mean, I felt the same way for a long time. I stayed so fucking mad for so long. Because I felt like it was completely Chad's fault that I was in this situation. And I had this mindset like I had to do what had to be done because of him. But I'm the one being punished. Not even understanding that I could have handled the situation completely differently. So looking back now, you wouldn't have done it? I don't know if that's true. I have a lot of resentment about a lot of things. Like how the court case went and... I wish I would have covered my tracks better. I wish I would have used a revolver so I didn't drop no shells for the cops to find. I wish I didn't drive my own car so there couldn't be nobody to identify me by it. I mean, shit. I wish I would have never got taught in this in the first place. I look back at all the things that I regret. Killing Chad isn't one of them. I don't regret his execution. I regret my execution. I wish the circumstances weren't what they were, but it doesn't stop him from being a murderer. What, um, what did it feel like when you did it? When you pulled the trigger? Was it scary? Was it nasty? <sighs> Damn. Not gonna lie to you, bro. It felt excellent. Like, I would never tell anybody to go do anything like what I did. But I'm not gonna sit here and say it didn't feel good. It felt like I was making things right with the world. I knew it was the only way that he'd really get what he deserved. And it felt good to be able to deliver that justice myself. You did what you had to do. I respect that. Have you never shared this with anyone before? Shared what? Uh, nothing, Ma. Just some stuff that happened in the pen. Mm -hmm. Crazy place. I'll share with you another time, all right? Or you could share with me now. Talk to me, son. No judgment. I want to know about the things that have gone on in your life. I know, Ma. It's just... Emotionally exhausting right now. I think by sharing emotional burden, we're able to lighten the load on ourselves. I know you have to do what you have to do to survive when you're inside. I'm going to leave you guys to it. You don't need to leave, Nathan. We're just hanging no, out. No, that's fine. This is not so you can go out and do some dog shit. This is security against a real threat. A threat that you can't run away from. And God forbid, if that time comes, you need to be ready to protect this family.
Mom, you okay? Yeah, Mom. I'm fine. How are you? What are you doing sitting in the dark? I'm not. I just had my cell phone light on a second ago. Oh, you want me to turn this light on now? No. I'm about to head out. So there's no reason. Is that a gun? No. Why do you have a gun? It was Dad's. But Dad didn't have no fucking dirty hairy gun. He gave it to me as a gift. He, it was our secret. Your secret? He didn't think you'd like it. Oh, imagine that. You give me that. No, Mom, I'm not gonna do anything with it. Then why did you have it out? Police gun buyback tomorrow. I thought about turning it in, maybe getting a gift card, getting us some groceries. Then give it to me, I'll turn it in. Mom, I need to be the one to do this. Originally, I wanted to keep it because it's a gift from Dad and it makes me feel closer to him. But I realized I need to get these violent relics out of my life. I need to be the one to go to the police and make my peace with them. I'm trying to heal in my own way. And I need you to realize that my process is different from yours. It's tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Where? The Ralph's parking lot. You're not driving yourself. I'm taking you. Are you going to bed now? No, I'll be up for a while. Can I trust you to come downstairs and actually talk to me? Yes. Just give me a sec. I've got to box it up. Please, don't blow your head off. I won't, Mom. Did you know your brother owns a gun? Oh yeah. He even had that for a while. You didn't think there was an inherent problem with him owning a gun? Ma, he's the responsible one. You don't have to worry about him. You can't have a gun in the house when you're on probation. How's that not a problem? Well, the officer only knows what you tell him. Do you have a gun? Nah, I'm not trying to get in trouble. But what difference does it make whether... Oh, never mind. Where's Nathan? He ain't in his room. Well, he was 30 minutes ago when I talked to him, but not just now when I checked. Is his car gone? It's in the garage. Mm, maybe we'll go for a walk. Give him a call. You call him. With your phone. He's in his room. 